four degrees is the temperature of Lagos at its coolest, according to Google. But it gets as high as 36 and up to like 42 degrees sometimes when it's really hot. So you can imagine my shock when I woke up one morning in Canada, where I'd gone to for a training four years ago, and I found everybody celebrating a nine degrees Celsius weather as summer. <laughs> it was so shocking that my Canadian teammates thought it was a good day to go to the beach and that, you know, we should really go celebrate this nine degrees weather. But guess what? Here's how I showed up at the beach. <laughs> so I had my inner wear, I had my regular clothes, I had my inner woolen jacket, my winter jacket, and a woolen scarf around my neck. That was me at nine degrees summer in Canada. I come from Lagos where the coolest is 24 degrees. 24 degrees is my own winter. That is when I put on my sweater, apply a boniki balm or any other balm, you know, and drink hot tea. That, that's my own winter. Nine degrees, whether as winter or summer, is not normal to me. If I had stayed long enough in Canada, maybe I would begin to see nine degrees as normal. But right now, it is not normal. Which brings me to the title of my talk called Challenging the Normal. In 2011, I lost a close friend at childbirth. And at death put a face behind every statistics of maternal and child mortality rate I had ever seen. So, you know, when you see one in 13, one in 15, one in six, those things are just numbers to you. Until you have a deep and real connection to these numbers, that is when you know that there are real faces behind these numbers. My deep connection was my friend that died in 2011. And that's when I knew that behind every statistics of maternal and child health, there's a face to it. There are families that have been thrown into sorrows. There are children whose life may never ever be stable till they die. A woman dying at childbirth in Nigeria is not normal. A baby dying at birth in Nigeria should never be considered as normal. Women having to eat this for antenatal across rural communities in Nigeria shouldn't even ever, ever be normal anywhere. Midwives having to use their mouth to suck out mucus from the nurseries of a newborn to prevent asphyxia should not be normal. A woman giving birth on bare floors is never normal. 60% of deliveries in Nigeria are taken by traditional birth attendants who have no education and are unskilled. That should never be our normal. It should never ever be our normal. So what is normal? Normal is you refusing to step out of your comfort zone. Normal is you refusing to live a courageous life and take action. Normal is you refusing to hold government accountable. Normal is another word for average. I'm not normal, and you shouldn't. You shouldn't ever be normal. Now let's do a quick exercise. So now take a look at this picture. These are two, forget the green overgrown grass, these are two functional buildings somewhere in Nigeria. One of it is a public health care facility. The other one is also a public facility. Which one do you think is a public health care facility? The one on the left, if you think it's the one on the left, let me see your hands. The one on your left, if you think that is a public health care facility, good. If you think it's the one on your right that is a public health care facility. Now, let me shock you. This one, the one on your left, that has the solar panel, equipped for alternative electricity supply, and the borehole is not the public health care facility. This other one, with the wooden windows, falling apart building, falling apart roof, is the public health care facility. And you would never, ever imagine what this other facility is. It is a public toilet. And it is right beside this falling health care facility. 
Things like this are not normal. But guess what? Somebody like you and I thought it was a good idea to site an ultramodern public toilet beside a falling healthcare facility. Somebody like you and I dressed up in Ashwebi to go to this commissioning. Somebody like you and I commissioned this building. Somebody like you and I was the drama at the event. Even though his wife is sick at home and cannot access quality healthcare services. These things are not normal. They should never ever be considered as, as normal. As somebody with a legal background, who has zero love for figures, like I barely passed maths at YEC level, going into maternal and child health and now business is something that many would consider not normal. But that's, that's also because I'm not normal. I'm not. This is one of the products of my not being normal. This is Shafatu and her baby in Zamfara State, northern Nigeria. Shafatu was able to access quality health care supply, quality health care facilities, and sterile supplies at childbirth. Like several other women who formed the statistics, she did not become the one in 13 who died at childbirth. Shafatu had access to sterile supplies. The birth attendant did not have to use a broken glass or rusty blade to severe a baby's umbilical cord. Shafatu did not have to sit on a high chair and close her legs firmly, hoping that postpartum hemorrhage or bleeding after childbirth would cease. A birth attendant had access to community-level intervention drugs like misoprostol to curb a bleeding after childbirth. When you look at images like this, it should trigger in each one of you the desire not to be normal, the desire not to be average, the desire to outlive yourself, the desire to be outstanding. Several, the lives of several women and babies, like Shafatu and her baby, rest on the ideas carried inside each and every one of us. Many of them are waiting for our ideas to blossom so that theirs can also come to light. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not normal. I hope you are in too. And so, as I leave this podium today, I would like you to think about something. Never accept as normal something that should never, ever, in the first place, be normal. Be extraordinary. Be outstanding. Challenge the normal. Thank you.